My friends at B&H were nice enough to let me try out this Sony A9 with this 100 to 400 lens. And I have to say, I just absolutely love this camera. I'm gonna take this camera and you to one of my favorite birding places in Florida. It's always an incredible time and wait till you see what happens. Come on, let's go check this out. Florida in winter, a place where brown pelicans lazily perch atop palm trees as that big ball of fire in the sky slowly rises to greet the day. This is a special time in the wetlands as birds, both local and migratory, start their day. A single great blue heron almost appears to meditate as the rising sun bathes the wetlands in a magical golden light. A few feet away, hundreds of birds stretch their wings for the first time since the sun set the night before. A small group of swallows doesn't hesitate to get things started. They navigate the early morning air currents that rise from the surface of the water with ease, only slowing down to scoop up the occasional insect. Food is on everything's mind. The large bodies of water that seem to stretch for miles hold a plentiful bounty of tilapia, largemouth bass, brim, speckled perch, bluegill, and armored catfish. That's quite the menu. These fish have been reproducing, growing, and surging in population for the past 10 months. Their large numbers are a very important food source for all the local creatures who call this area home. But some birds prefer to grab a quick bite to eat on land. These intelligent cattle egrets know that large, lawn-cutting machinery displaces tons of small bite-sized snacks, so they eagerly march right behind the machinery, gobbling up anything that moves. Back at the edge of the water, an American bittern, a bird whose amazing natural camouflage almost makes it invisible to the untrained eye, proceeds to make extremely calculated movements to blend in with the vegetation. The bittern moves deeper into cover, and I grab a single shot, which showcases just how well this bird's natural camouflage works. The large open bodies of water draw birds in for food, but this great blue heron has misjudged the water depth, and it lands in water a little too deep for its liking. A small group of cormorants have joined the party, and they have apparently drawn the attention of the great blue heron who comes flying in to inspect the local buffet. The great blue heron, a master hunter, patiently waits for the right moment and strikes. Was it a success? Apparently not. A single white pelican lazily floats in the water searching for anything that might be moving below the surface. This non-native bird has just arrived here for winter and it's very hungry. Our master hunter, the great blue heron, tries once again and doesn't like what it finds. It seems that our white pelican has been joined by a few friends and our master hunter, well, it still seems to be having trouble making the catch. This is a typical morning at the local wetlands in Florida, but this calm, serene scene is about to undergo a massive change. From the north, a perfect formation of white pelicans appears on the horizon. These birds with their massive nine-foot wingspans have just one thing on their mind, food. To the west, the sky quickly fills with hundreds of these birds. They know this area quite well, and they have come to depend on the rich food sources swimming under the surface of the water. I plant myself in the tall grass and watch in complete awe as the huge flock of white pelicans makes themselves at home. I can't believe the sheer amount of birds that have arrived. The sounds of the wind moving through their feathers is drowned out by the sounds of their feet hitting the water. Their huge numbers makes it very difficult to choose where to focus, but the pelicans make this choice easier for me as they start flying right in towards my location. I quickly switch to image mode and fire away as the massive pelicans moves in even closer. I grab a few shots, but this one really stands out to me. The three pelicans at different stages of flight is just awesome. I love being able to freeze moments in time like this. As the pelicans move through, they are joined by a large group of forester terns who are eagerly feeding. These birds are a little too far away for images, but they move in closer, and I get to really put the A9's autofocus system to the test. These little birds are very difficult to photograph, but always well worth the effort. As you can see, the A9's autofocus system was up to the task, and it helped me capture these awesome moments as these fast little birds emerged from the water. You get these amazing shots of the birds, all that water and the droplets and the splash. When the angle of light is just right, that splash seems to capture the light and freeze it, making the splash look like a glass sculpture full of color. And in this last shot, you can clearly see that these birds' quick plunges into the water help them capture tiny little minnows. Absolutely amazing. Back at the pelican pileup, our hungry pelicans 
are busy herding all the fish into one small area of the lake. There is a definite pattern to the way these birds are plunging their heads deep into the water. I move a little closer, using the tall grass as cover to sneak up on the birds in order to get this amazing shot. A wall of white pelicans. There are so many of them that they're practically sitting on top of each other. To my left, the pelicans have managed to herd a huge school of fish into a small inlet. And now the pelicans are on top of each other, and they're trying to pull as many fish as they possibly can from the water. Even more pelicans come flying in, and the scene quickly turns to chaos as birds start landing on top of each other. The birds on the bottom, they might be getting the most fish, but now they have to deal with a huge horde of hungry pelicans landing on their backs and pushing them deep underwater. This crazy chaotic feeding cycle continues day after day. The pelicans are still here, but their food source has started to dwindle. It's no longer easy for them to herd fish into large numbers where they can just scoop them up. They're starting to get desperate. A group of hungry osprey have entered the area, and it isn't long until one of them comes falling out of the sky at an incredible speed. It lowers its talons and backs off at the last minute. Another osprey spots something down in the water below, and it too comes falling out of the sky. It uses its tail and wings to make micro-adjustments to its descent, a balancing act of wind and speed. It drops its talons and backs off at the last second. Things are getting a little tense as a small group of coots runs across the surface of the water. One of the osprey makes yet another attempt, this time from much higher in the sky. It silently spirals out of the sky, keeping its eyes on something far, far below. The osprey alters its flight path, and instead of coming straight down, it positions itself for a horizontal strike. It readies its talons and makes impact with the water. And this attempt was not a success. The pelicans are starting to get anxious. The osprey crashing into the water has definitely gotten their attention. An osprey makes yet another attempt from high in the sky, pulling its wings back for added speed before crashing into the water below. This time, the osprey's dive was a success. One bird's success has given the others some confidence, and this bird is more than eager to try its luck with the fish below. It ever so graciously glides before making that final decision to dive, and with extreme precision, it uses its wings to not only steer, but to also control its speed. At the last millisecond, and with extreme accuracy, the osprey extends its razor-sharp talons and comes crashing into the water. This massive splash sends the pelicans into a frenzy. They know what's happening, and, and they want that osprey's fish. Our osprey has managed to capture a huge fish, and it struggles getting it out of the water. In this dramatic slow motion video, you can clearly see the desperation in this bird's posture as it almost appears to be walking on water. It wants that fish, but it knows the pelicans are coming, and it chooses to drop the fish and fly away without any type of altercation. While all of this was happening, another osprey makes a catch, and it too struggles with the fish. But this osprey, it's determined to keep its catch no matter what. The pelicans see the osprey with the fish, and they decide to give chase. In a futile attempt to ambush the poor osprey, a pelican comes flying in from each side, but the osprey has speed and agility on its side. It barely escapes with its fish and comes flying right at me. I grab a few images as the osprey flies over my head, proudly clutching its catch in its talons. What an amazing turn of events. I've never seen pelicans get aggressive like this, but that's what happens when food gets scarce. Of course, I have to finish the video with my favorite bird of all, the osprey. Always doing some just absolutely amazing stuff. I don't think I've ever seen pelicans give chase like that. It was amazing. And I really, really like this camera, the Sony A9 with the 100 to 400 lens. It's just so fast, so effective. It's absolutely incredible. I'm going to be uh, purchasing this and adding it to my kit. So you're going to see a lot more of it in the future. My Nikon gear is not going anywhere. I think this will be a good compliment to all of that. Um, what did you think of the video? Did you have a, a favorite part? And as always, don't forget to click the thumbs up, comment, let me know what you thought, share the video, that's really helpful. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that because I'll have a lot of cool stuff planned for the future. And until next time, I'll see you later.